Okay, good morning, everyone. Um, so welcome to MA222, section 301. Okay, so today is our first class. So um, we're gonna we'll just go over some routine stuff, I'll go over the syllabus and also the course guide. So first of all, let me share the screen with you. Also, if you have any question, feel free to stop me and I will answer as much as possible. First one, let me share the screen. Okay, here we go. So um, when you log on to the Blackboard course, our Blackboard course is now available. Um, and also every class I will post a Zoom meeting recording right here, right? And also if you wanna get access to the weekly Zoom meeting, just that I create a web link um, as a shortcut, you can just click on it and you'll be able to um, get access to Zoom meeting here. Okay. And as I mentioned, I will post the Zoom meeting recording right here. Right now there's no recording available, but uh, it will be here. So if you let's say you are confused about any subject or contents we went over in the class, you can always review the Zoom meeting recording as a reference. Okay. And also um, we're gonna go over the syllabus. Okay, so you click on the syllabus, the formula sheet. So this is our course syllabus. And I also post the course, uh, course guide here. And then the formula sheet, you will need a formula sheet for the entire semester. And then during your, when you work on homework quizzes, even midterm and finals, you will need a formula sheet. So you're allowed to use the formula sheet or scientific calculator, either one of um, both of them. And also, if you feel like you want to use Excel, you can use Excel. Okay, you're going to do some um, demonstration on Excel, you're going to learn some basic Excel um, operations, and then you'll be able to uh, solve certain problems in the Excel. I also post a um, test book, right, PDF file test book. This is from publishers, Essential Statistics 5th edition. So uh, you don't have to pay for the test book, save you some money there. Um, so first of all, let's open the syllabus. Okay. Any questions so far? Okay, feel free to let me know, right? And also um, when you create a, uh, the name here, make sure you have a, a clear name, right? because I would take attendance based on the, the login names. So um, make sure you put in your full name, just like what I did and put in your full name. So the system will automatically take a screenshot later and then I'll be able to um, take attendance based on the, the your login name. Okay, that would be convenient for both, for both of us. Okay, all right. Any questions so far? Okay. If you do not have any questions, so let's look at uh, uh, syllabus really quickly. Okay, so first of all, so I'm your instructor, Adam Lee, that's my name. And then uh, email address is right here, fi Adam underscore Lee at fitnyc.edu. And I plan to hold an office hour right after this class. So meaning every Monday, you know, when we finish class, if you wanna, we can, we can stay right in the Zoom session for the office hours. So I can hold the office hour right up to 12 p.m. So if you want to talk to me about the content or any like problems you encounter in the class, just feel free to stay right after the class and we can talk about it. Okay. And so we're meeting every Monday, 9, 10 to 11 a.m. So on the Wednesdays, I, I'll make it optional um, meetings. So basically I post all the lecture videos and the PPT here. So on every Wednesday, you can just review those lecture videos, right? You can just click on it. It'll take you to the lecture video. It's a YouTube video. So um, you can use this to study for the contents. And, uh, but if you feel like you wanna meet with me, let me know. So we can also meet up on Wednesday. Um, just, but uh, on most Wednesdays, you will use this to um, 
review the contents. Okay. All right. Yeah, we have a different part of the from the. It's the same. Uh, basically, so just a take a look at chapter PPT one and, and also the introduction to statistics. Okay, so this is how the our video look like once you open it. And I also there's a PBT uh, attached right underneath it. So if you look at it, it's for part one, chapter one, introduction to statistics, you can open the PPT, go over that first, and then um, jump to the lecture video. And that should just give you uh, basically the, the routine, right? On a weekly basis on every Wednesday, and you should review all these videos. Okay. And uh, yes, yeah, so all these lecture videos, right, from all the chapters are posted already. So if you, let's say some of you guys want to study ahead, right, you want to finish the course quickly, uh, that's also quite possible, right? If you feel like you want to save some time you know, for other courses, let's say you have other courses, you want to save some time for that, just concentrate on that, um, that that's also uh, doable here. Okay. All right, so that's a lecture videos. And then also, um, let's go back to the to the syllabus really quickly. Yeah, syllabus, okay. All right, so, um, so with the textbook, I post the PDF file already. So, uh, so basically it's optional. You don't have to purchase actual textbook. PDF file is is definitely um, has good quality, so you can uh, you can save some money on that. And also um, PPT, right? The PowerPoint um, it's also very effective in terms of uh, learning the material because all the major like subject or contents are listed on the on the PowerPoint. So if you feel like you have you are comfortable with the PowerPoint and the lecture videos, and you understand most of, most of the contents laid out in the PPT and then the lecture videos. And that means you, you, you're in a good, in the right direction. So you, if you want to skip the textbook, you can do that. But a textbook is always available. You can always go back to the textbook, read through the entire chapter if you, if you would like to do that. That's all available. Okay. And uh, let's move on to cost summary. So we're going to study chapter one all the way to chapter 10. And we're going to concentrate on the statistical analysis, including the probability distribution, you know, measure of the center and then the variations, sampling distribution, estimates. And then we're going to do some testing, hypothesis testing, correlation, regression, chi square, ANOVA. And you basically will learn how to store, manipulate, analyze data, right? So that's um, essential elements in the, in the intro to statistics course. And you, after, let's look at the learning outcomes. So you're gonna have a, we're gonna have a homework quizzes and midterm and finals. And quizzes is good assessment, like how you, how you are, um, mastering all those um, major points in each chapter. So you can utilize that to get a self-assessment. And I'll talk about that in a second, once we get to the homework system. Uh, once you complete the course, you'll be able to um, understand and give examples of descriptive and inferential statistics. That's two major branches in statistics. And you'll be able to understand and use the term like population, sample, perimeter, statistics. And we will use some, you know, sampling methods like a survey, like um, experiment, uh, observations, and you understand the variable, and then also a simple random sample and then uh, random samples. And you, you, you utilize some, you know, graphs like dot plot, histogram to show the distribution of the data. And we're gonna concentrate on histogram and spend a lot of time talking about histogram, how to construct a histogram from the data, data itself. 
and you'll be able to find a mean median mode. That's three useful measurement for the center. And also we utilize the standard deviation to measure the, the variation in the, in the data set. So that's from chapter three. And then we're gonna learn how to calculate and interpret z-scores for data values, that's also from chapter three. And you understand the normal distribution, and that's from chapter six, and use the standard normal distribution, the z-table to perform the calculation. And we will calculate areas for normal distribution, interpret those areas in applications, and we'll be able to do the sampling distribution and interpretation, calculate areas for those distribution. And in chapter seven, you learn how to construct a confidence interval to estimate, estimate population parameters. And in chapter eight, you will learn how to perform hypothesis testing for data and interpret the result of those of the, of the tests. And we also learn how to set up and conduct simple linear regression and then use the least squared line. We call this best fit line for predictions and also um, we're gonna take a look at ANOVA chi-square test, but that's optional topic. I'll provide a, uh, the PPT for you and then, but uh, it's optional. So course outline, we're gonna cover chapter one, introduction to statistics, chapter two, organizing and analyzing data, basically using the graphs, different type of graphs. And chapter three, we, we would look at how to measure the center and then variations. Chapter four is based on the probability. Chapter five, we'll talk about the discrete probability distribution. And chapter six is about the normal distribution and the central limit theorem. Chapter seven on confidence interval. Chapter eight is about hypothesis testing. Chapter 10, we're gonna take a look at uh, regression and correlation. Chapter 11, ANOVA and chi-square, that's optional. I'll provide a lecture uh, PPT later. Okay. So uh, the mandatory course material, um, you need a math Excel access code and also the course ID. So this is course ID. Um, so all the homework quizzes, midterm and final are available on, the, on this homework system. And I will show you how to register right now. So you just click on the link here, mathexcel.com. And one of the classmates has already signed up to the system which uh, which is pretty nice so you click on this or you can copy the link or you can just go to mathexcel.com okay and then you register under student right so you click on student and now um you register for a course required by your instructor click on that now you go back to the syllabus you're going to copy the course id okay you need a course id to Okay, I guess I will I will open it from the download files. Let's see. Okay, let me download this. Let me save a copy really quickly. So um I'll be able to copy the course ID from there and show you how to register. Okay, so right here. Go to this and then let me open that. Also, any questions so far? Yeah, actually, I have a question. Yep. Um, so are we like doing the lesson on Monday and then reviewing mm -hmm. it by ourselves or if we need extra help on Wednesday, but we're learning like the material on Monday? Yeah, I will basically give you uh, the our, the basic outlines for the for the for each chapter. And then um, every Monday, I will show you some Excel um, I will provide some Excel demonstration. So while we review the content, you can also uh, learn some basic skills on Excel. So that's what we are doing on, on Monday. And then in terms of learning the content, you mainly use Wednesday 
um, class hours to learn the content. Also review the PPT. Uh, you need to look at the test book and you can do it on Wednesday. So Wednesdays are for review and not really learning new content. Um, so let's put in, let's put in this way. So we have a course guide here. Let's open the course guide. All right, so um, click on the course guide. You can see the screen, right? Can you see the course guide? Yeah. Okay, okay, very good. So if you open the course guide, so if you look at it, we have orientation assignments on the math Excel. It's due on February 4th, which is one week from now. Yeah, okay. Next Thursday, right? It's due on next Thursday. So, um, so basically, so first for the first week, you do not you do not need to focus on any content. But if you want to get started on the chapter one, you know, like lecture, video, and a PPT, you can do that, right? So, this coming Wednesday, you should use the time to get started on chapter one, um, lecture videos, and also the PowerPoint. Get familiar with those um, the new terms. Um, presented in the PowerPoint. Okay. And okay, so um, this is like the week one. So you, you should follow this course guide closely. So that means um, by February, um, by February 11th, okay, you should basically go over all the lecture videos from chapter one. And then also uh, PowerPoint, uh, if you want to read through the textbook on chapter one, you could do that as well. And by that's homework and quizzes due on um, February 11th, right? Which is okay, a couple of weeks down the road. So, um, so on on that Wednesday, on on third and then and tenth, you should spend time um, on chapter one, and, um, lecture videos and then PPT. And if you want to move forward to um, to chapter two, you know, if you, let's say you master all the contents in chapter one, you want to go ahead and move on to chapter two, feel free to do that. But this is like tentative schedule, right? So basically this is by February 11th, you have to you know, understand it, um, read through the uh, PowerPoint and then lecture videos from chapter one. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. And where do we access the homeworks? Homework, yeah, I, I'm showing you right now. I just want to show you how to register the homework right now um, before you get started. So let me copy that. So basically you need to copy the course ID. Um, so copy the course ID from the, from our, um, okay, let me see. Okay. Um, all right. So uh, let me copy the course ID really quickly. Or if you want to type it in, that's fine too, right? But it's there's a six sixteen, you know, letter and then numbers in in the course ID. So it's easier just to copy paste. Um, for some reason, it doesn't allow me to do that. So let me give me one second. Okay, let me just. Uh, quickly opening in a different version of the Adobe. Hopefully, let me you know, copy right now. Okay. But in your, if you open the regular PDF file, it should allow you to copy, paste this course ID, it should have no problem. Um, yeah. All right, I guess I'll do it another way. Okay, so if I go back to the, I already signed into the our home system, one of the classmates already set up, um, then go to course manager, let me copy the course ID for our course, but you can copy from the, from the, uh, from the syllabus screen. Okay, should be one of this. Okay, it's right there. This is our course, spring 2021. Okay, so I'll copy that. 
And then if you go back to the login, you see ready to register. If you put in the course ID right here, and then should our course should, should come up. You see on the side right here to give us um, all the detailed information, semester, class number, section number, and then it's for, for our school and taught by me, right? So once you verify all this information, so you can start the registration process. If you already have a Pearson account, you can just sign in using, using username and password. But I, I'm, maybe I doubt it, you know, not everybody have a Pearson account. So you can just create a Pearson account, you know, put in your personal email address or school email address, totally up to you. And just complete the, all these questions, you know, all this um, username, password, and put in the username, first name, last name, security questions. You know, once you finish all of this, it should guide you to the um, to the payment option, and you can just purchase the six month access. Um, it costs the least, right? It costs about sixty dollars, and that's yeah, that's that's all, right? So this is how you register for the homeless, online home system. So any question about this? Try that, Try right? If you, let's say you have any issues, you know, you can stay after class. I can help you with this one by one, but uh, um, it, should, it, it should be pretty straightforward and um, should have no issue with this. Uh, once you put in the right course, um, the course ID, it should, the course will pop up and just follow this instruction step by step. You'll be able to get to the um, our homework system successfully. And then also once you log in, right? That's, let me show you our course. Okay. Once you log in, all the homework quizzes and midterm, I haven't released the midterm and finals. I'll talk about that in a second. And if you click on a homework test, homework and tests, and all this, you see homework, you can try 50 times, right? And also for all the homework and the quizzes, you can try, like for all quizzes, you can try three times and only the highest score will be counted. Okay, so this gives you flexibility in terms of improving the score so you can definitely, you know, get a hundred percent on all homeworks and all on on the quizzes if you make effort, right? There's no doubt you can you cannot get a good grade on this. And your midterm and final is based on the based on the homework, right? And then quizzes. So if you do well on the homework and then also quizzes, that means you're ready for the actual midterm and finals. And also I provide a midterm review and a final final exam review right here. And then you can try and um, prepare for the actual midterm and final. And also I wanna show you some uh, useful features from the, the home system, right? If you, let's say click on one of the assignment and if you click on one of the question, there are some um, very useful features embedded in the home system. I want to show it to you. So under the question help right here, you see the question help. If you click on it, you basically have access to a lot of resources here. And let's say you want to uh, review a lecture video presented by the Pearson company besides me, that's a lecture video, you know, just about this particular topic. And you can use that to review the content, right? That's one, one of the feature. Also, if you let's say you want to go to jump to that specific page of the textbook, you can do that. Just click, click on the textbook and you jump right to that particular page. Let me just make it, do not block it. Okay, let me make it available. Okay, that's pretty good. Now you can actually have access to this allow. Okay, and it will take you directly to that specific page of the textbook. Okay, now you can review the, the that particular page of the about this particular topic, and uh, also has embedded 
um, calculator. Also, another important feature is help me solve this, right? Let's say you look at this problem, you know, you don't, you do not know how to get started. You can click on that. And so basically the system will guide you step by step, right? Tell you which formula to use and then how to perform the, the procedure of calculate the, the result step by step. And this is also a very useful feature in terms of learning the material also um, strengthen your memory about the procedure. So in statistics, we, we, we um, a lot of problems requires a, a fixed uh, step of the procedures. So by utilizing the system, you'll be able to get familiar and then become good at solving the problems. And also if let's say you wanna view a, a similar example, right? Not exactly the same thing, but a similar example, you can click on view the example and the system will generate a very similar question. And it also will show you the solution here step-by-step, step, right? And you can basically use this to help you um, go through the problem successfully and then get the result correctly. Okay, any question about this um, homework system and also um, these helpful features? And I, I do encourage you to use if let's say you get stuck on a certain problems, should definitely use one of these features to help you, you know, guide you through the problem. But also I'm, I'm here to help you. So if you have a major issue with a certain type of problem, let me know. And during our, during our office hours, I can, I, I can provide assistance. Okay. Um, so, I, I have a really quick yeah. question. Definitely. Um, so for the homework, uh, do we have like multiple attempts to do that as well? Or do we just like get a, a grade for like doing it? Oh uh, yeah, you have a uh, 50 times. Okay, awesome. 50, and I, okay. Since I start teaching this course, I, I, I never see anybody try 50 times. Okay, yeah, that, that sounds first a little couple like times, <laughs> um, Already get 100%, you know, I, I see some, Students try like four or five times. Mm -hmm. I never see anybody try like uh, 10 times or 20 times. Okay. But usually you'll get 100% by by first couple of times. You, know, you try first time, let's say you get 80%, you're not, you're not happy with the, that. You try mm -hmm. one more time, usually you will get a, something close to 100%. And, and the system only recorded the, the high score, meaning only the high score for the homework and quizzes will be counted. So okay, awesome. Don't worry about that. So it definitely in good hands. All right. Thank you. Okay, no worry, Gracie. Okay. So um again, this is um about this. And then quizzes you only have three chances, right? Not like the homework you can try as many times as you want, but a three times is, is more than generous. I'm pretty sure you know you get three shots on the on a quiz. If you go back and let's say first time you do it, it's not, it's the, the result is not ideal. You can always review the, the homework questions because quizzes is based on homework. So if you master the, all the problems from the homework, there's no reason you cannot do well on a quiz. Okay, um, so, so this system is pretty, you know, uh, self-sufficient, meaning you, just, you can just learn by using the system um, plus, we, we have lecture videos, right? We, we also have a, two meetings, and that's um, a lot of resources available, you know, from the homework system and from our Blackboard course. All right, and then let's continue on the, on the syllabus, right? So, and um, also you need a scientific calculator of Excel. So, since we are learning the Excel, you know, on a weekly basis, so every Monday, usually I will provide some Excel demonstration and you learn some useful, you know, um, operations in Excel. Also, you're gonna have Excel projects. Um, probably we have five projects throughout the semester, 15 weeks. So every three weeks, you expect to complete one project, right? So that's pace. And sometimes maybe um, for the first couple first couple of projects, you know, 
it, it takes about three weeks. Some project you may be able to finish in two weeks. That's definitely um, very possible. Um, so in terms of doing the homework quizzes, you can either use a scientific calculator or the Excel, right? Either one um, is more convenient for you. You can use that. And scientific calculator, if you do not have one, I can recommend uh, a good one, but uh, it's not mandatory, right? If you already have a calculator, use that, right? If you feel like um, um, you don't want to purchase a calculator, that's fine with me. Um, but uh, I'm in TI um, 30 X double S. So this is pretty decent calculator. Um, okay. And it also it's very affordable. It's uh, cost between 10 to $15. And then it's good for all math courses at FIT. At FIT. Also, um, if you have any other science courses or other courses requires calculator, and this is this is definitely a decent calculator, and it's very powerful as in all this. And let me show you what it looks like. I just you uh, you can basically get it everywhere, right? Um, Stables, Amazon, you know, anywhere. I don't want to keep you a very specific, you know, place to go, but. Uh, yeah, and then what it look like? Let me show you the picture image of the calculator. This is what it look like. It's from Texas Instruments. Um, basically, you you'll be able to you know successfully complete the course using this calculator. But uh, again, you know this is not meant. You can either use Excel or the calculator. So if you are Excel, like you are very good at Excel, you feel like you don't need a calculator. That's also doable, right? No doubt. So this is about a calculator. And if you feel like you don't want to use this or you already have one, that's fine, right? You can pick any calculator you want. As soon as it's a scientific calculator, have like a power symbols, like um, square root, right? Definitely we need to use a square root and an exponent. Um, yeah, that would be good. So that division, multiplication, subtraction addition and and also probabilities in this one has an embedded probability feature here in chapter four we're going to go to probability we, we need to use a couple of the formulas here from the probabilities and this has embedded feature which provides some convenience um, to tackle some probability problems but yeah this is just one recommendation Again, it's not mandatory to have a calculator. If you do not have funds to purchase it, that's fine with me. Um, okay, you don't have to purchase it if, if, if you do not want to, right? But it's pretty useful. And you can always use Excel to do the calculation. Again, as I mentioned, the book is already provided in the PDF file, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay, and then let's look at a grade distribution so you're gonna have attendance class participation, 5%. That's why I wanna make sure you have the proper name show on the show on our June session, right? Cause I'm gonna take a screenshot uh, later on um, by the end of the class. So I use that as attendance. Um, so it will go into your attendance score, right? They, based on the, your logging credentials. Okay. And okay. And you're gonna have uh, five Excel projects. Each one is worth two percent. And homework from the the math Excel is worth fifteen percent. Quizzes twenty percent. So if you look at the all these items, it's already fifty percent of your final grade. The midterm is twenty five percent, and the final is worth twenty five percent. Okay, so that will make it a hundred percent. And just some in general, you know, about a course, uh, please ask questions. If you have any question, I, you can either email me or ask me directly during class uh, via Zoom or in, in, the office, in the office hour right after this. And then join the class on time, um, right? So we start a class at 9.10, so you show up at 9.10, right? Um, 9.10 a.m., okay. And then um, do your homework, right? So you. Once you do your homework, do well, 
I'm pretty sure you will do well in the course. Okay, that's just um, everything is um, should be. Uh, there's no surprise. Meaning, if you put in the effort and do the homework, do well in the quiz, you will do well in the course. Right? It's it's for it's guaranteed. Okay, but uh, the the pre-existing condition is making effort. Right? Um, you definitely need to go over all the lecture videos, PowerPoint. Uh, if you feel like you want to read a textbook, read a textbook, whatever, you know, helps you learning the material. Also, you know, um, use the system wisely and talk to me if you encounter any difficulty and I'll try my best to help you, you know, um, do well in the course, okay. Any question about the syllabus or any general question about the course? Okay. Just clarifying, Wednesdays are optional. Yeah, it's optional. So meaning we do not have a mandatory meeting on Wednesday, but if you really want to meet, let me know, right? Shoot me an email and I'll provide a, I guess we can use the same Zoom meeting, you know, link. Yeah, but uh, yeah, let me know, right? Um, if let's say you really, you know, encounter a lot of difficulties and you need really need extra time, you know, just, to go over any homework, you know, let me know, right? I, I'm more than happy to do that with you on an individual basis. Okay. Um, yep. I had a quick question. Mm -hmm, sure. So will the Zoom link that you emailed us be the same Zoom link for every single class or will you send a new one every like week? No, it will be the same for the entire semester. Okay, so okay. it will be awesome. the same, right? So you don't have to worry about, you know, is that any, just also, I show you already, it's, you see, if you click on this, um, go to our Blackboard course. If you click on weekly Zoom meeting, you click on it, it'll take you there directly. So you don't have to worry about the, you know, forgetting the Zoom meeting link, anything like that, right? It's, it's, it's here. And then we use the same Zoom meeting link for the entire semester. Okay, so there's no confusion on that. Okay, and any other questions? Okay. All right. So um, also let's look at the course guide really quickly. Uh, so basically this provides some guidance, right? Let's say not sure, you know, um, which chapter should you finish by the, let's say end of the week three, you know, you can always look it up here and give you the due date, but you should definitely review the lecture videos and then PowerPoint way before the due date, right? Um, in that case, you know, you can get a, you can at least get some understanding of the contents. So that's no, so you do a, then in that case, you, you can do the homework. If you do not <clears throat> go over any contents, then you will not be able to successfully complete the homework and quizzes, right? Um, unless you already, you know, learn in the, in the high school or something like that. But, uh, yeah, typically you expect to read through all the lecture videos and PowerPoint uh, before you know you jump to the homework. But yeah, and besides this, I also have a, a firm day for the for the midterm. So your midterm will take place on Monday, March 29th, right? So it's already a set um, set day, right? So you just basically just um, expect to have a midterm by that day. Okay. And also you give you some, you know, um, some time to plan for the, in terms of studying for the midterms, you know, and then we definitely, we usually would do a review before the actual midterm. So the week before this on 22nd, and we will have a review session. I will go over uh, questions from the review sheet, you know, from the, our home system, right? Again, it's already available. So if you want to start looking at the review sheet, you know, it's right here, right? I make it available to all of you guys already. So if you want to and look at it, you know, get a sense what what to expect on the actual midterm. It's right here. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's that's midterm. Also the final. 
Um, this already have a, I already set a day for the final. So on Wednesday, May 12th, you're gonna have an actual final exam. And then the final just cover chapter six to 10. So the final is not cumulative, right? So it will be just after everything after the midterm. All right, so any question about the course guide? On the left um, hand, mm -hmm. it says like Friday a lot. Does that date represent anything? No, no, no. Okay. I probably should just delete this. It's kind of confusing. The only, the only date means something is the midterm and the final. Right, and, and you probably just focus on the due date. You can use a Monday. I, I should probably change it to Monday, but uh, when I created it, I already put on a Friday, so I did not get a chance to. But it's, it's, it's not, this is irrelevant, except the, the midterm exam date and then the final exam date. Okay. And for every other things, you should focus on the due date, right? For, for all these assignments and the quizzes, and the good thing is the homework and the quiz is due on the same date. So you will not miss it, right? So let's say that it's not, no, there's no different due dates on for homework and quizzes. So you know, you know, you can complete both on the same day if you want to. Also, if you log on to the homework system, it's already have a due date listed here. You also, it's consistent with the course guide, right? So you know, you know what, what to do on that. You have to complete that before the February 11th for chapter one homework. Also uh, chapter one quiz is also due on the same date. Okay. Does that, does that help? Okay. Um, yeah, again, mm -hmm. Sure, go ahead. Can we take the quizzes on our own time? Yes, you could take the quizzes. Uh, let's say on Wednesday, you went over the other lecture videos and then PowerPoint. And if you like, you ready to take the, to do the homework and quizzes, you can do, the, do that at the same time, right? You can also use the Wednesday time to do homework and quizzes. You got ready for that, okay? So this, mm -hmm, no problem. So this course basically is quite flexible. Um, if some of you guys want to feel like, you know, you want to finish the, that on earlier, yeah, definitely it's, it's quite doable, right? You can finish the entire course earlier. I do have students who finish the entire course a couple of weeks ahead of time. Okay. All right, so this is course guide, but uh, again, you don't have to, right? You can just follow the on a weekly basis, complete the, the homework quizzes on a weekly basis. That's also, um, that's also very um, reasonable, yeah. Okay, um, what else I want to mention? Um, also, I'm going to post the Excel project uh, starting next week, right? I'll, I'll post the first first project. Um, so um, it's, it will be posted under the Excel project submissions. So basically, when, once you click on it, you will be able to find the Excel file here, as well as uh, posting the Excel project here. So you, it will be the same place to find a project and also post the project. Once you complete the Excel project, you submit it via this particular link. And uh, it's like Dropbox, right? You upload a file and I will receive it and I will be able to grade it. And then once I put in a grade, you'll be able to see the grade under the, the cost grade, right? If you go to the cost grade, in your Blackboard account, you should be able to click on it and see that. And then just one more thing about the, the grade, right? So the grade is weighted, weighted average, meaning when I say you, you want to calculate the actual grade or get a projection, like how what grade you're going to expect to have, you can just multiply the grade earned from each item. Let's say for attendance, your Terry class, you know, you do Excel project, you complete the homework, and you get a hundred. And let's say that five percent times hundred, that give you five points, right, from this particular item. Um, and then for Excel project, each one with two percent. Let's say on average, you get ninety on the Excel project. 
90 times 10 percent give you five nine points that means for the excel project for the item number two you get nine points uh, maybe i can just show you really quickly um, how to calculate the final cost grade okay so uh, i will put in a note i show you the calculation right here uh, hypothetical speaking right and i share the screen right now uh, let's say um one of your classmates uh, let me make it slightly bigger let's say you get a um, hundred on it um, on attendance right so attendance five percent times hundred that's five points and second item itself project you get a um, it's ten percent on average you get 90 that's nine point and for homework so uh, homework um, um let's say it's 15 percent and you get a hundred percent of homework so you have 15 points all the quizzes um it's 20 percent okay so 20 percent times let's say on quiz you get average 90 right so it's 18 points you earn and midterm is 25 percent so you get a um 80 on on the midterm that's 20 points and for final is 25 percent and you get a um 90 right that turned out to be um 22.5 well, once you sum up all this grade that will be your final cost grade so there's 10 19 uh, 37 57 okay 20 yeah, 20 plus not 29 47 67 and 67 plus 22.5 that's 80 89.5 89.5 that's almost uh, it's a b plus or a minus right depends on your effort and then says let's say you get great like that it's between b plus or a minus and uh, I really see you making effort. You really try very hard in this course, and you probably will end up with a A minus instead of B plus, right? So that's how basically how you um, um, calculate your final course grade. And then in the blackboard, you also see the same blackboard um, in, under the course grade. You also see the grade will be calculated in the exact same manner, right? That's how like how we do it by hand. And, but uh, I would do that by the end of the semester. I, can, uh, I cannot do that right now because all the grades are not in yet, right? So um, by the end of the semester, you know, you'll be able to see all your grade show up in your, in your system, you know, and then basically this, this is how the Blackboard system calculate your course, final course grade and then assign the letter grade by the end. Okay. Any question about this? Also, also there's no ambiguity uh, in terms of calculating your cost grade, right? Uh, grade distribution is here. You, you, you can do it by yourself by the end of the semester. No confusion here. Okay. All right. Um, any concern or questions so far? Okay, so now um, I guess also the formula sheet. I want to look at the formula sheet really quickly. Um, and also later on in the semester, we can always refer back to formula sheet, right? For a lot of chapters, we need to use the formulas. Um, so that's okay. So now let me go back to the formula sheet really quickly. It has been posted. And then it's organized by the chapters. Okay. If you click on it, okay. and then the formula should come up. And starting on chapter three, you start calculating the mean media mode, and you start to have a the formula formulas for those different different terminology. And then also the standard deviation. We use the formula to calculate the standard deviation. And then I'll explain this later on, right? Uh, probably starting next couple of weeks. 
and you can always find the formula you need from the specific chapters, right? Just going through this formula sheet. And also there are a couple important uh, tables from the, from the formula sheet I wanna mention. The, in chapter six, we have table A2. So um, this is a very important standard normal distribution and a normal distribution. And in terms of finding the probability, and we can use a table A2 to help us find the probability. You can also learn it from the Excel. I will also show you how to um, find this probability from the Excel. Um, and also the table A3, that's T distribution, T table. We, we're gonna need it from chapter seven and eight, and also 10, right? Chapter seven, eight, we're gonna learn how to use table A3. And chi-square table um, is also listed here. Just give you an idea what you what we have in the from the formula sheet. And today I'm I'm just gonna show you some um, basic things in Excel to get you started. Since we already have Excel, um, we're gonna have Excel project along this, along the way. So uh, first of all. Click on Excel practice, and then I want you to um, open this file called basic math practices. You can open that file. Okay, and I'm gonna show you how to calculate a couple of these in Excel. Also give you a brief introduction on Excel. So let me open Excel really quickly. You can also open Excel in your computer, in your laptop or desktop. Okay, so let me open that and let's jump right to the uh, introduction on Excel. And also, some of you guys may, may be very good at Excel, but unfortunately, I cannot treat you like you, you, you are the master of the Excel. So I would treat everybody like you never use Excel. So um, I would do this in a fairly slow pace, meaning I will go over this step by step very, very in great details. So if you feel like you already know all of this, just bear with me for, for this first couple of class, right? And then you will learn something new um, later on in the semester. Okay. So um, first of all, let me share the screen with you. So this is typical interface of the Excel. And in Excel, the, the major element is what we call this cell number, right? So this is, let's say each rectangle box here, it's representing a cell. And the cell com comes with two elements. Um, there's a colon, letter representing a colon. There's a number representing a row. So for example, this cell should be represented as A2, right? So as you can see, we have a lot of rectangle box here. So if you point to a specific cell here, this colon letter G, this one should be G. And then the row number five, G5. Basically it's like a identity for each cell here. And this is quite important, right? Because basically sometimes you have a large data set and let's say I have a lot of numbers here and you want to pinpoint to a specific number fairly quickly and using this index is quite efficient. So basically you'll be able to get to that um, number of cell fairly quickly using this particular index. Okay, so um, that just, so every single basically box you can pinpoint down to any box it has, it has a unique identity, right? So here is H11, right? So that's basically how the Excel was organized by all of this. And on top of here, we have files. So once you work on the Excel project, you want to constantly save your progress, right? You always want to save it. Um, it for example, if you cannot finish one project in a given class, 
you should always save it and then come back to it, um, let's say next week or something like that. So saving your progress is, is important. You don't want to redo your work and uh, just because you forget to save it. And also you can open a file, you know, open a new file and then just save it as a shortcut. Go to keyboard, hold on the control, control and S, hold on both of and it will save your progress. Yeah. And also, um, if, let's say you want to print out the project, but uh, we don't need to print out the project at all, right? You can always submit it as the Excel file itself. And also, I want to show you something really quickly. You probably, you probably never encountered this or never see this before. Uh, under the options here, and if you go to the um, add-ins, okay, there are a lot of settings here you can embed, um, embed it into the Excel itself. Under the add-ins, you're gonna see all these like different tool packs. And this is what we need for our course is called analysis tool pack. And we perform a data analysis or statistical analysis. This pack is needed. Um, once you embed this, so if you go to manage Excel add-ins down the bottom here, you see that you click on go and this will pop up, right? That's a, another add-in called Euro currency tools, meaning you can do the currency um, transactions here. Let's say like how to convert you know, certain uh, currency to another currency, something like that. But uh, in our course, we only need the analysis tool pack. So you wanna make sure that is selected, right? In, in your in your version of Excel and then click on OK. And now once you do that under the data, you're gonna see the data analysis uh, icon pop up right here. Under the data and then click, uh, click on the data analysis and all these different type of analysis tools will be, will be available here. But uh, only when you apply the, the add-ins to, to your Excel, to your version of Excel. Okay. And some of you guys may using the using the Mac, right? Mac, the interface will look slightly differently, but it's there, right? It's definitely there. Um, a lot of my students from past semester, they also use the, the Mac. Um, they were able to navigate through the system, you know, successfully. It, it just, it's located in a different place, you know, compared to the uh, compared to the to the Windows version okay but uh, be patient you'll be able to find it right so it's it's there um, so this is something important about this um, particular feature of the Excel and under the home you know all these typical settings like a bolding uh, certain letters and say you want to bold this click on that you bold it right italic underline, you know, all these different settings. And let's say you want to put a border on this particular cell, you can click on the uh, all borders. Now you see this border here. And if you want to put in thicker border, you see, it's pretty, you, you're going to see a thicker, thicker border. And also you can put in the colors, you know, fit in the colors, you know, and change the colors Filling the background, uh, like all these fields, fillings, and different settings you can apply here. You can also center that, center the cell. Okay, this is a very useful feature. And just get rid of this no fill. Okay, and you can always do that, right? Highlight a whole bunch of the cells and then center them. Okay, and okay, those are the important things. Also, um. Let me give you something really quickly. For example, let's say you have a data set, right? You have a data set. And this data set, let's look at it. So let's say uh, we have a 15 as a first data, 20 as second data, a second number, uh, 27 as third number, 
28 as fourth number, 30 and 35. You can also put in these numbers in your sheet. And let's say I want to format this. I want to put in the center, right? So under the alignment, just center them. And also I want to bold them. Okay. Um, even better, I will put in a put in a, a box here, right? Putting all borders, you will see the box, right? And um, it's like a table. And you want to calculate the total of this. So one way to do it. it one way to do it is highlight all those numbers. And then you see the auto sign on top, click on that, the total come up. Okay, so this is one way of doing this. Okay, so that's how we get the total. Okay. Another way of doing this is using a formula. Okay, I'm gonna put right next to it, right? So every time if you wanna calculate something in Excel, you put in equal sign, right? This is a mandatory input here. You have to have the equal sign here. And next thing you put in a formula. So formula could be sum. Okay. Sum indicating we're going to sum up those numbers. So now you highlight the cells. Okay. From C3 all the way to C8. And you see calling here indicates C3, C4, C5, C6, C7, and C8. Meaning you want to calculate all the numbers from C3 all the way down to C8. So this is how this colon is functions. Okay, and then close it. Now you enter, you also get 155, right? So one of them using the shortcut by highlighting those numbers, click on this shortcut icon here auto sum on top, you get a total. Another one is highlight uh, using the formula. Um, so one more time, the formula, we'll put in equal sign first, and then you do sum, open parentheses, C C3 colon C8. Okay, then we got it. Okay. That's how we apply the formula um, in Excel. So again, any questions so far? Uh, do I leave, do I lose anybody? <laughs> okay. All right. So basically, um, that's some basic features of the Excel, and then we're gonna need it. Um, we're gonna need it widely. So that's why I wanna go over that right now, really quickly. But uh, don't worry. Um, we're gonna go back to this. You know, basic operations in Excel. Um, pretty much. You know. Um, again, again, right? So you'll be able to learn it. If you do not learn it right now, you'll be able to learn it later on, okay? And some other settings, and then go to insert, and on chapter two, we're gonna start learning some inserting, let's say some charts, right? And we can insert a chart right here, you see? Um, we can insert, um, let's say, uh, this is what we call a colon, right? We can insert a pie chart. There's a pie chart here, right? You can insert that, you see? Uh, we can insert a lot of things, um, different graphs, right? Under the insert icon here. We can also insert a pivot table. And in your first project, you're gonna learn how to use a pivot table to create a histogram, right? So um, I will explain this later on probably next week, okay. And page layout, just basically settings in terms of a printing, when you print out the outcome, you know, or the sheet, you know, and this becomes quite um, useful, right? In terms of modifying the, the margins, orientation sizes, but uh, we, we probably don't need it uh, for, this, for this course, right? And, also formulas and basically you can insert a functions. So all these like formulas, um, these popular formulas we, we use, it's list here. And also there are some other formulas. If let's say go to statistical and then you have this kind of just statistical formulas. Right? Um, it's a lot of them, 
but uh, we're not going to use all of them. We're just going to use some of them, um, very, um, very tiny portion of them. Okay, under the stethoscope, um, and also um, if you are doing something else, let's say um, you also can look up under math and trigonometry. Here has like different like formulas, like sine, cosine, you know, tangent, cotangent, those stuff, you know, it's also listed here. And what else? Database. Yeah. Okay, financial, right? If let's say you're taking taking some financial courses of and all these financial formulas, you can find it here. All right, but uh, yeah, this is what the formula this is about. Um, also, in let's say you want to find out that some you know formulas. Let's say you want to find out standard deviation, and if you type in cut first couple letters of the standard deviation, then the formulas with respect to this under this particular um, abbreviation will pop up. So let's say as you put in STD. -E -D, and now, if you click on one of them, it will show you the detailed explanation on this formula. And then you can use that to judge which formula is the proper one to use, right? Just calculating things. So I'm going to do this, this standard deviation for this particular sample. Let's say I treat this as a sample, okay, as a data set, right? Just I want to find out how much the data value varies from each other. So I put in this formula, it come up. You see the standard deviation is about 7.19, right? Something like that. So um, so all this formula, you know, you could you could find it as soon as you know the name of the formula. And just type in first couple letters, and the rest of them will come up itself, right? And you just have to pick the right one from the list of the all the formulas. Um, yeah, that's basically how you look up some formulas really quickly, right? And also data. Okay, so the most important thing is a data analysis. And um, let's say um, you want to look at this. I'm gonna use this as example, right? Uh, this data set example. You go to data analysis. Highlight that, go to highlight all the data on, on numbers listed here, go to data analysis. And then I'm gonna use a descriptive statistics and click on okay. And then info range is all those five numbers, six numbers. Okay. And output range, I will just list underneath it somewhere here. Oh, this is input range. Output range, I will put it underneath it. Okay. And now a summary statistics, right? Let's look at it. So it basically will give you some, um, the outlines of this data set, like the average of those numbers, the standard, the standard deviation, right? And the median, the mode, range, you know, all these different type of numbers is total 155 already calculate that, right? It matches with our summer, summary statistics. Count meaning how many numbers are there? Six numbers. Okay, so all this just show you some um, features of this Excel um, functions. Okay. And yeah, that's... Also, this is sheet one, right? So if let's say you want to create a separate sheet under the Excel, you can go to right next to sheet one, just click on that plus sign. Then another sheet will come up, right? So then you can, let's say, sometimes you need multiple sheets to complete the, the assignment. Then you can put in another sheet. Uh, this is like a blank sheet and you can do some calculation here. So now I'm going to show you something from the Excel practice um, I just showed you earlier, right? And like, for example, let's say we want to calculate one of these um, operations in Excel. I'm going to show you how to do a couple of them. 
And then going back home, you can try the rest of them, right? Yourself, if you want to get familiar with the operations in Excel. And I'm gonna calculate this, I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna paste into the Excel. Okay. And this is directly from the, from the sheet I showed it to you earlier here, right? Um, under this Excel practice, basic math practice. Um, let's look at some of the questions there and to see how to input into the Excel. Now, one more time, let's go back to the Excel. All right, so in terms of inputting this, so we're gonna do negative three to a second, this is second, okay. So in terms of inputting this into the Excel, I get a result, you do this, you open parentheses, this is question number one, and open another parentheses for negative three, square that, and then you add in negative three. Okay, see we have different layer, layers of the parentheses here, and the first layer applies to this exponent and also this neg negative three, right? Both negative threes, and then close it, that will be the, uh, for this curly bracket, right? So we take care of this curly bracket and multiply by negative three, close it. So basically we close this square bracket by doing this. And now you do minus negative four plus negative three. And that's how basically how you input this into the um, Excel. And the exponent, for any exponent you this, using this symbol raised to, raised to second power, basically square, you could raise to third power, right? Raise to third power, cube. Fourth power, fifth power, depends on the what a question you know, presented. And multiplication using this symbol on a keyboard is uh, shift and then eight. You hold on shift and eight to get the, the symbol, right? Okay, so this symbol right here, it's shift plus eight on the keyboard, right? So you hold on to both that, you get this symbol multiplication sign. This is multiply. Okay. And then the exponent, It will be this shift, uh, shift and six, right? This symbol, shift plus six. Okay, so those two are pretty um, important ones. You know, we use it all the time. And let's look at another one. Maybe let's look at another question. Okay. Let me look at the slightly more complicated ones. Um, you see, it has, has the answer in the back. So you can double check the answer, answer is in the back, right? To make sure you have the right input into the Excel. Um, let me see, I will try this. Yeah, let me try question two, I guess. Let's go to the Excel. Sorry, I have a quick question. Sure. Go ahead. Are these uh, problems like for homework, do we have to put them in Excel? Or are you just showing us like examples of how to use Excel? Yes, I'm just showing you how to use Excel to input this. Um, it's not a homework, right? This is not a homework, but uh, it's it's helpful, you know, uh, for, for your project to successfully complete a project in the, in the upcoming uh, weeks. And this is useful, okay. So this is like the demonstration, right? How to input this in Excel. Um, for some of you guys, it's, it's brand new to you. So it takes some time to get used to this kind of input. That's why I want to mention this because uh, in the past semester, usually students have difficulty, you know, inputting um, even the basic operations in Excel. Um, so I want you to learn this. Uh, fairly quickly, so uh, it will be helpful later on. 
Okay. So um, again, in order to calculate this, this is question number two. So we, we first put in the equal sign. Okay. And for this, we're gonna take care of this uh, square bracket first, right? So open parentheses. So that's no, you cannot put in a square bracket, right? Excel, you, you can only put in parentheses, but uh, with the different layers, basically. And if you wanna, and this parentheses here is not needed, right? So if you just put in negative eight, that's fine. There's no confusion there. Okay, and then minus. So now open another parentheses for this part, for this curly bracket, okay? This portion here. So you're gonna do um, negative eight. And see the color changes now to purple because it's, that's another layer within this, um, within the curly brackets. Okay. So this negative three to the second power and then minus negative eight. And then close it, right? So you see, open a purple curly a parentheses, close it. Open one, close it. Open a red one, close it. Okay. So anytime you open parentheses, you will close it okay. at the end. So we close the very first one right, right here by closing this, by using this. So the color matches with different layers. And the key thing is make sure Excel take it correctly, meaning you input it correctly and then Excel will give you the correct result. And then now multiplication, right? So shift and eight to get multiplication sign. Now open parentheses. Then again here, if you do not put in this parentheses, that's fine. That's no confusion there. You can do that. And minus negative four. Now um, we should be able to get a result, but uh, this is how you input it. Okay. And now you, you, you hit enter, you get that. So that's negative 25, right? That should be the result. And if you go back here, double check the, the answer in the back, negative 25. So you wanna make sure you input something and then the result turn out to be the correct result. And, but if you do not put in the proper amount of the parentheses here, um, you're missing one of them. Let's say, for example, if I forget to put this parentheses here, then you try to hit enter. You see, the Excel will tell you that they find a typo in the formula and then try to correct it to this. Okay, then, no, that's not right. This is not a correct correction. The correct correction is putting the close it right here. Okay. And yeah, if you're missing your parentheses, the error message will come up. It will help you ask you to correct it before proceeding. Okay. And any question on this? Okay. Um, I guess you can try this on your own, right? Uh, from question three all the way to question 12. And then you can double check the answer in the back. And Next week, when you come back, we're gonna go over all these questions, right? From chapter, um, from question three, all the way to question 12. So as like uh, actual practice, you should definitely try this on your own first and come back next week and we can, we can talk about this, right? I can show you the correct answer and how to input in Excel. All right. Um, today's first day, I don't wanna, I don't want to go over the time. So, and do you have any question before we end the Zoom session? Okay. All right. Uh, so I guess if you have any, no other questions, we will end Zoom session. Okay, really quickly. Um, maybe, yeah, I will post this Zoom meeting recording shortly, right? Once we we finish here. I'll, I'll need some time to produce it. And then once I finish producing that, then you'll be able to um, see this. Okay. All right, so uh, really quickly, just wanna show me, show myself. Okay, so um, you guys could really quickly show yourself. 
you know, so we get to know each other really quickly. So, um, so can you just unmute your video? Okay, very good. Madison, Gracie, Neil, okay. And uh, nice to meet you all, all right? Okay, and then, yeah. So you, you guys get to know each other, you know, <laughs> although this is um, it's really nice to get to know each other. Yeah. Okay, yeah, very good. So everybody share yourself, uh, take a... All right, um, I guess uh, if you have no other questions, I will end the Zoom meeting session right now. Um, I'll talk to you next week, Monday, right? Okay. Wednesday Thank meeting. No problem. Okay. Bye, guys. Take it easy. Bye, Professor. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your first week. Okay, you too. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. Okay, no problem. Bye.